Oh boy, it finally happened. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of, oh, uh, never forget, 9-11, September 11th, 2020. I am one of your illustrious hosts today sitting virtually through the internet. Joins me today, Alex. For a second, when you said virtually, I don't know why, but I, instead of the meaning, the word meaning uh, like virtual, I think I thought you were gonna say virtue, and I was like, mm. uh, is I don't know if that's the right word. I for mean, it, you're a very okay. virtuous man, so it wouldn't be incorrect. Yeah, I guess so. I would put that as like one of your one of your like major properties of yourselves. Virtuous, mm. very mm. you're very uh, selfless as well. That's another thing. I'll yeah. Say. Alex, hmm. how are you? I'm feeling, um, what's the word? You know how like you, you tell yourself you're like I want to get this done, ah. and then you and then you do get it done. So you, uh, I feel accomplished. Oh, okay. So you feel fulfilled in some way. Yeah, fulfilled. Why? Because I told I told myself I was like I want to fix this back guest room. I okay. did that. I uh, got my desk where I wanted it, and then I was like, you know what? I need another project. I'm gonna hang my TV on the wall. Oh. And I Any reason today. for this? You just wanted to, or did um, you I've been to... wanting to do it for a long time, okay. but I was, I think I'm, you know, you always get that general feeling like you're, you know, you do not want the TV to fall, so you mm. like don't do it. You're kind of scared because I have a 65 inch TV, so that thing is mm. a big thing. So I was like always scared to put that thing on the wall and just like am it falling, but mm. I just like looked more into it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Mm-hmm. Is this picture yeah. anywhere on the social medias? So what? Is this anywhere on the social medias? This pic, this um, this this hung on the the wall. It will be on Instagram. I just uh, I, be Instagram. I, yeah. Okay, so it will be at. I might it? put it on Twitter too. Twitter. Just to okay. See, like, I agree. Let's get it on Twitter. Very exciting, Alex. But this isn't a podcast. It's just about Alex's life and his daily routines. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> this is a video game podcast that joins you every single week. It's supposed to be on Fridays, but we're a little late today. We are going to have a fun one today. But before we get into the news, I want to talk to you a little place called patreon.com slash EGChievers. Yes, yes, patreon.com slash EGChievers. You hear it every week, but you go over patreon.com slash EGChievers. Give us a dollar that helps us, keeps the mics on, the lights on. Alex's dogs continue to be fed, and his TVs will be mounted. If you like us, you can, of course, do it freely without giving us a dime. Go to YouTube podcast service of your choice. Give us a like, give us a comment, give us a subscription. Share us with a friend. I won't keep you too long today. We're going to go straight into the news. But before we get into that, Alex, mm. I have a question. What is your question? What have you been playing? Um, Alex, I don't um, give a heck. I don't, I don't care. I don't care what you've been playing. Do you know why? Because why? the Series S have finally been announced, and we're going to get into that first. What? Over on everywhere, you can find the Series S and Series X information galore. Yes. So, we're going to get right in to it today let's get with a handy dandy little table that was created by microsoft themselves basically describing what the series s is alongside the series x explain pre-order dates and etc this has been quite a f- days of development right so this was leaked i want to say midnight at like on a what alex wednesday tuesday i think it was tuesday yeah, so it was tuesday, tuesday night, sounds midnight, right wednesday morning. it leaked then they announced it Because it got leaked. Then they did the full reveal. Then they announced the on Wednesday pre-order details and pricing. That sound right? Sounds about right. Now, let's go over what we have here. CPUs are both the exact same between the Series X and Series S. I find that very interesting. We'll probably get into that a little later. But they're basically the exact same. 8-core AMD Zen 2 cpu this is at 3.8 gigahertz for the series x 3.6 gigahertz for the series s very interesting that these are the both things on a 200 dollars difference console uh that tells me that xbox has to be eating money on this to get the to get the series s at 300 bucks right alex mm-hmm. um i would think so but uh i mean i don't i don't know i don't know if it's always the case either because like, if just, I can think just, of just in case you don't I mean, know, have the same. 
I mean, you can have the same processor, but yeah. have different graphics cards, and that could be a two, three hundred dollars difference either. Also. Yeah, just just in case uh, Joe Schmo at home is like, oh, why would it be different? I, it, they do get discounts when they buy in bulk. Um, mm. So let's say the uh, AMD, they could have striked a very lucrative deal if they talked someone into it. So I mean, it could be broken even. It could have maybe got it incredibly cheap. I find mm-hmm. that hard to believe they got so cheap that they could include the same GPU, but maybe they, maybe they did. Maybe someone greased the wheels and promised some favors later on. But this mm-hmm. is pretty crazy that we're going to get into the specs, and this thing is only 300 bucks. So GPU, we're looking at an AMD RDNA 2 GPU, 50 su- 52 CUs at 1.825 gigahertz. That's Series X. Same thing for the Series S. The only difference is this 20 CUs at 1.565 gigahertz. Alex, that's a lot of nonsense, but it essentially means it's slightly, uh, not slightly, it's pretty substantially less powerful than the Series X. Yeah. Makes sense, of course, but now you know the GPU is very different. Now, this is when we get, I feel like, is the most easiest number to digest for most people. This is the GPU power. In the Series X, we have a whopping 12.15 teraflops. Pretty insane. For the Series S, we have four teraflops. Four teraflops. Now, this isn't indicative to what the machine can do. Mm-hmm. I've heard arguments that GPU is only a small thing. You, of course, want large RAM. RAM is a big thing, too. That tells you how much actual power you can do in multiple aspects. But four, four terabytes, that is... Yeah, because RAM helps you, uh, I think, it helps multitasking. Yeah, stuff. it helps multiple things happen at once, if I'm understanding mm-hmm. correctly. And the GPU power is essentially what is actually going to run uh, alongside the CPU. is going to basically run the bulk of the actual architecture in the system so it's pretty crazy it's such a huge jump between the two um i'll be very curious to see what game what games look like now let's move on there's a chip in it custom seven that's a bunch of nonsense to me so i'll skip that one ram 16 gigs gdr ram 10 gigs in the uh, series s uh there's a couple smaller things in there ram doesn't look too it looks pretty big difference i'll be curious if they have the same quick resume feature um, that Xbox has um, touted on the they, Series X. Most likely they do. Do you think they'll have less options? Like, for instance, I think Series X, wasn't it six games you can have on Quick Resume? Uh, if you forget, Quick Resume is basically you put a game on literal pause on the system, and then you can resume it at any time in the exact state it was in, times by five. So you can do that six times, if I remember correctly. It might be five. But do you think, since there's so much less of RAM in this, do you think we're getting maybe three Quick Resume features on a Series S? Or do you think it was still thing? Uh, it's possible, yeah. Yeah, this we're just conjecturing right now. They've only gone into very small details on what we can actually look forward to on this. So we're kind of just speculating here. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about performance target. So what they mean by this is, what is the game going to run at? So for Series X, same thing. 4K at 60 frames, up to 120 frames. They've always said this. Now for the Series S, 1440p at 60 frames up to 120 so you of course get a dip in 4k but again you save 200 dollars and you still could probably uh, get 120 frames off of a game which is pretty substantial yeah that's i mean that didn't seem possible to me but i mean look at that 120 i mean that's what they're saying think about it a lot of computer games right now that not all of them are running 4k some uh, most of them are doing 1440 at 60 to 120 frames yeah well when you're stuck in like overwatch valorant you're very competitive games they yeah. don't really care about texture quality they're caring about how many frames can they get and how many games so yeah i feel well, like the they... series s is a perfect machine for that like if you're not well, caring about the actual features and what it looks like you go with mm-hmm. the cheaper model and you play your competitive destinies your your yeah. overwatches things like that yeah, I don't see an issue with it because, like, every time I try to go build a PC, it'll tell me, it was like, oh, 1080 or 1440. I'm like, all right, well, 1440. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Storage, huge difference here and something mm-hmm. I'm very skeptical about. So we have a one terabyte SSD like normal on the Series X, but on the Series S, we have a 512 SSD. That is not a lot of storage anymore. Not a lot of storage. Maybe at Maybe at the beginning of this gen... But yeah, I understand well, they had to mm-hmm. save money, so they probably couldn't afford. <laughs> they couldn't afford probably putting a terabyte in this. But that, I mean, Call of Duty. I understand you yeah. can piece it out if you want to. You can just have one thing downloaded. But I mean, Call of Duty by itself is a hundred gigs. Destiny Two, a hundred gigs. 
Overwatch, I think it's almost 100 gigs as well. So, like, that's three games we got. It's 300 Cyberpunk, gigs. I think, isn't it going to be 100? Uh, yeah, I think it was 107. Maybe, yeah, that's your, that's your 107 or something right like that. So, I mean, I, get. I, I don't understand this uh very much i get they probably had to they probably didn't have a choice if they go one share by i assume they're eating if that if they weren't eating money already they they definitely would have been if they upgraded this i think we're gonna run into a huge issue with series s fans but maybe maybe series s fans aren't buying that many games or they just don't mind deleting it or let's get into the next one expandable storage um, this the same compatibility for each thing. Maybe they're just expecting them to buy the expandable storage. Alex, I had an interesting conversation with a colleague today. Mm-hmm. You understand the how the storage works on the Series S, Series X, Alex, right? The memory yeah, card uh, looking things that uh, are made by for, Seagate. Yeah, it's proprietary. Yeah, proprietary made through Seagate. It yeah. was leaked that these cards may cost for one terabyte two twenty. Now this Ooh, this shit. could this could not you know this this could not have been final. I did see a small leak that said the Seagate one terabyte expandable hard drive for the Xbox One was two twenty. That is incredible cost for a ter literally one terabyte of additional storage. If it's that price, I'm not getting it right now. Uh, I I want to say it's it's false. I want to say it's not finalized. <laughs> but if that is any work, I mean even if it's one eighty. Mm-hmm. That's insane, right? Um, I'm going to... Uh, Alex, give your thoughts on that. I'm going to see if I can find where I found that leak. Okay. Yeah, no. Um, it, it's one thing with... It's it's always hard with proprietary. They always have to... I mean, like, we've already dealt with this with the Vita. Like, they made it so... Never forget. Ex- they always make it so expensive. Like, it's... And it, and it, and it, they're so hard to find at, at some certain points. So, like, I'm wondering if, like, let's say they do wind up making it like a better price than what that should be or whatever they uh whatever what we think it is um hopefully it's not too rare to find like we do have the uh the inventory for because if like if, well let's say let's say it's a uh, hundred bucks i mean a lot of people are gonna want it i just hope that they uh accommodate for those people that do want it or the or for the people that can't get at the moment, so the, hopefully they'll have someone they do get that chance. Yeah, right. Um, so I'm the, going the to ones, man. That took forever to find the that 64 gig. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So it, I was correct about the leak. By the way, I love that the leak says it's from a Microsoft store. This is clearly a GameStop POS service. So uh, <laughs> that's not. I don't know who said that, but this is clearly an Xbox. And then maybe they have the same POS service, but. That's not what it is. Anyways, yeah, it's even the same category. So, yeah, it's not. I, I, this is not Microsoft Store. Anyways, Xbox Series X Seagate one terabyte SSD expansion. It does say two twenty for a one terabyte. Could be placeholder, but mm-hmm. damn, that is mm-hmm. incredible. I will bring up it's again. It's almost as much as the Series X. <laughs> it, it does. Uh, good point, Alex. So I will bring up. You can use external USB storage devices, but you cannot run the game. That may sound strange, but you can use it as a literal storage device. You cannot run a game off that. It will just be storage. So, for instance, I have Destiny 2 on my external hard drive. I want to play it. I will have to, if I want to play that game, plug Mm -hmm. in my storage device, move the Destiny 2 game from my storage device onto my internal memory on the system, and play it that way. If I have the expansion card, I could, of course, run it that way as well if it's on that card. Mm. So that is easy. You know, it's not perfect but that is something you could do um if you wanted to be a little cheaper or if you just want to have a different choice you don't necessarily have to buy this very expensive expandable card but that is incredibly expensive that's true hopefully it's not hopefully it's placeholder yeah Um, hopefully lots of leaks have become true so i feel like that might be right unfortunately well, I guess I'll be doing the whole uh, deleting and deleting shit. Yeah, I'll but probably keep. Games that I really want to play at the moment. I'll probably keep around my terabyte. I have a oh, four terabyte sure. monster on Same. mine, so I most likely will just keep it. Yep. Uh, let's go into backwards compatibility now. 
this is just a refresher. I think everyone listening to this podcast probably remembers, but everything that is an Xbox One works on this system. So controllers with Xbox One features at all will work on a controller, uh, sorry, on the new systems. All Xbox One games will, of course, work on the system. All Xbox 360 backwards compatible games will, of course, work on the systems. Every single game you own on the Xbox One will work on the Series X, period. So you are clear to go. The only thing you're worried about is upgrades, if that only pertains to Series X people. Upgrades you may have to pay for, for instance, for Control, which, by the way, they got in trouble for accidentally upgrading people to the better version where they when they originally said they couldn't do that, which is hilarious. Wow. Um, but but uh, Control, you do have to pay if you want the updated version on the Series X. You have to pay for the Ultimate Edition on that system. Or... Mm-hmm. You can go uh, and just play control normally on your new system. Just regular control that has no upgrades. I don't want to do that. Yeah, you want the upgrades, right? But, you know, you'd have to fork over $50. So, yeah. And control, 505 is insane with their thing. They want you to buy, rebuy the game, and there's no way to re... It's so strange. It, It That's a whole other topic. Now we can, of course, move over to disk drives, 4K UHD Blu-ray on the Series X, digital only on the Series S. This was uh, a theory I had, um, I think months ago, honestly, that Mm -hmm. this would not have a disk, and it doesn't. I I didn't want to think it would be true, but it's very true. It will not have a disk. Yeah, uh, I mean, per- more likely, like these, uh, we've come to the thing where, um, ever since they started it with that, um, ser- uh, the One S digital, they've they're creating a kind of a, an, how would I say, like an niche, ecosystem, an ecosystem for for the all digital thing. Yeah, I I feel like this will appeal to a lot of people. They don't, they'll take yeah. the cheaper mono if it doesn't have a disc drive, especially mm. if it saves them money. I mean, even PlayStation has their own digital version. Yeah, they have the digital version too. And it was, it, again, this is a leak rumor. There is a possible Series S X, sorry, Series X discless version too. This was a slight yeah. leak that came out a few days ago that there may be an all digital version of the Series X hiding somewhere. And I don't, I don't know. Um, the it, the it, leak right was now, right now. I think it's like nickname. It's like Series Series V or something like that. Yeah, I, I was that it. I don't remember. Um, I, I don't I've seen a picture. know if I believe it. I could I could believe they would do that, but I don't think they would. I think if you want a discless Series X, you just buy the Series S. But it's not as strong. Yeah, but... Yeah, good point, I guess. Um, but if they take off the disk drive, can they really afford to sell the Series X at $400? Because if it's 50 bucks less, like at that point, you're like, you should probably just buy the whole system. Right? Mm. I mean, I feel like they could do it. I feel like they could sell yeah, 100%. it. Yeah, 100%. Uh, would they sell them? Eh, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. This is a good point you're bringing up. If you well, if you have... Well, because oh. this drive is expensive. A 4K Blu-ray drive, that it, it could cost you 100 bucks. Yeah, yeah, but that's for a consumer. On uh, they're, they're working with completely different numbers. For them, that probably costs $50. Mm. Um, consumers are... Usually, you're paying double the price what it actually costs to manufacture it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I think I think it would knock off 50 bucks honestly that's what I've always thought about the PlayStation but I think they'll eat the cost of the remainder to make it cheaper um, I again I, I could see them not taking the disk drive out but I don't think they will I think that's too much of an issue or, and, eh, I don't know I, won't, I don't want to say that either like I could just, see like, it yeah I, I don't want to be married they to only, it if they only pay 50 bucks for uh, for the disk drive and they get hmm, could, okay. I mean would they really sell it at 450 I feel like it would do. I th- I feel like it would be four. I don't think they. I I really don't think they could take that much money off just by taking a storage device off. Again, I have been saying that for the PlayStation, but I think they are willing to eat the cost mm. to make more money on the game sales. Now they could do that as well for the Xbox. Um, they could just be willing to eat the cost of manufacturing it to make more money off the games that you buy, because of course they get a bigger cut of a digital sale over a. A game you buy off the shelf physically mm-hmm. so I, I mean i could see them I, I guess i could agree with you here that series x could be all digital and they would be willing to eat the cost by selling it for a hundred dollars less 
and then making more money in the back end by hoping you buy more games or just going to Game Pass. Because, again, Microsoft wants you on Game Pass. They want your you 10 to $15 every month. Version, they'll be like, since there's no, uh, you'll get like a, uh, what's it called? You get maybe like a six month thing of, or three, is it whatever they have for Game Pass Ultimate included? Yeah, correct. Right. I, I could see that. Um, just a quick side note, uh, Dolby Atmos did announce that Series X and Series S are the first consoles ever with gaming in Dolby Vision and mm-hmm. Dolby Atmos. Dolby Vision will be coming soon, and Dolby Atmos was available at launch. No further details were given at the time of posting. So that is incredibly exciting. I don't know if you if people really care at home. Maybe you do. Uh, excuse I, me. Maybe I you use do. Dolby Atmos, but Dolby I use Vision, Dolby Atmos. Like- my t my TV can't run Dolby Vision. Well, mine can because I'm a bougie ass bitch. So I th- yeah. I I don't even know. I'm gonna be real with you, Alex. I don't even know what Dolby Vision is. I just know it makes it look better. So <laughs> I can't even pretend like I understand what this. Is. I know Dolby Atmos is basically 3D audio, correct? I'm not yeah, incorrect it's in this. More of a, yeah, it's more of a sur- uh, surround audio. So it's like every it, everything's. That's what's so powered movie that, theaters. I know that. Think, yeah, think about it. Think about uh, is like if instead of five point one surround sound, it's seven point one. Yeah. And to be honest, I think there is a nine point one now. Whoa. So that's probably what that one is. Jesus, could you imagine having nine speakers around you? Oh my God. Anyways, um, that's that's incredibly exciting. Um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Sony has been touting that they're getting the three D audio bandwagon, like you know, expressing how excited they were to show off three D audio. Um, in any form, and it's very it's it's exciting to see that Dol- we're getting Dolby Atmos. Like I feel like that is much more uh, concrete, and I know what that is versus just a blanket. We're getting 3D audio, and it makes it sound like it's better. It's like okay, mm-hmm. whatever. Dolby Vision, of course, is exciting. I I don't know why, but when I hear Dolby Vision, I think of movies, not video games. So I'll be curious to see what it does in a video game. Yeah. Uh, more than that will come. Now. I was a little confused about this. Alex kind of roughed it out for me because I was not able to actually read the article. So, um, Alex, maybe you should explain what I'm about to say because you kind of understood it a little better than I did. So, this is uh, by GameSpy. Richard Seagrave gave us this. Series S won't apply Xbox One X enhancements, Microsoft's confirmed. So, let's go down to this. Oh. You still there, Alex? Yes, I'm still here. No, sorry. My computer just locked up. Uh, Do you mind reading that for me? Sure. You want that article from GameSpeed? Please, because it is not enjoying what I'm doing right now. Gotcha. Yeah, so this is over at GameSpeed by uh, Richard Seagrave. uh, um, Let's see. It says, launching 10th of November for... $299, Two ninety nine. The Xbox Series S appears to offer fen- uh, phenomenal value for money and a cheap way to access the next generation of games. But its cut down specs will apparently come with a drawback. Though the Xbox Series S will undoubtedly be more capable machine than the Xbox One X overall, Microsoft has confirmed with us that playing backwards compatible titles, the Series S won't apply any any Xbox One centric enhancements. When asked to clarify how the Series S deals with Xbox One X enhanced games, a Microsoft spokesperson provided the following statement. Quote, Series S was designed to be the most affordable next-generation console and play next-generation games at 1440p at 60 frames per second to deliver the highest quality backwards compatible, compatible experience consistent with the developer's original intent. The Xbox Series S runs the Xbox One S version of backward compatible games while applying improved texture filtering higher and more consistent frame rates, faster load times, and auto HDR, end quote. The news may come as a disappointment to some, but the statement mentions backwards compatible games will still look better on the Series S due to the improved texture filtering and other enhancements. Games with dynamic resolutions and unlocked frame rates will also see a benefit. And finally, many first-party games that were enhanced for Xbox One X, such as Forza Horizon 4 and Gears 5, are going to be updated to make use of the extra power afforded by both Series S and X. Okay. So, if I'm to understand this correctly, mm-hmm. I have a Series S. I go to yes. play an Xbox One X enhanced game. Let's say yeah. Forza Horizon 4. Mm-hmm. I will be playing a 
S, like a regular version of the game that's enhanced by the Series S, right? Yes. Oh my god, this is fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so, so instead of getting an actual Series S ver or or the like a new upgraded version or whatever, right. you get the old version, but they give you a bunch of think about think of uh, you. Because I'll be able to play Forza Horizon at 120 frames, so it's a different yeah. enhancement than I would have played on One X. Yeah, so it's like, it. they're adding different filterings and enhancements. Okay. So think about like if you ever have seen the videos where people play like Skyrim, but uh, but they add like all these texture mods yeah. and 4K mods and ray tracing, and it makes it look like it's like crazy good looking. Uh -huh. It's pretty much that. Okay. It's think of it. Think of it as they're just add. It's the it's the back. It's the the older game version, but they're adding all these mods to make it look and run a lot better. Okay. To to make it as to make it as compatible, or excuse me, to, to make it uh equivalent to the new system. Got it. I think that makes much more sense than I originally read it. Because the way I read it originally, it was I was like, it, wait, it's like a normal version and it's not enhanced. Yeah, no, at but first when I read it, I was a little upset. I was like, well, what's the point then? Yeah, and I guess I, I, I think I am glad. Hear me out, because I'd rather have my Series S performance enhancements than what I would got at X yeah. enhancements. Because I'll be real with you, X enhancements haven't been like crazy good. Like, yeah. there have been small enhancements here or there, maybe performance modes here, a couple enhancements there, but at the end of the day, I feel like night and day, the Series S-X combo will be much more different than just the 1X combo. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's pretty safe to say. I don't think I'm saying anything crazy there. So that's exciting, because th yeah. I'm pretty sure I want that. Again, we're going to have to be like playing these games when they come out to like really give you a ac actual answer if we prefer it. But I yeah. off of just reading that, I think I do. Sticking with all of this, Alex. Mm -hmm. Final dates. The system will be out November tenth. Again, Series yeah. X, Series S two ninety nine uh, ERP, Series X four ninety nine ERP. Um, that's all the suggested retail prices. And then the pre orders start September twenty second, very soon. Um, mm -hmm. As of recording, that's only that's only eleven days away. That's only eleven days. Only eleven days to get to get those pre orders on wherever you're pre ordering, whether it's the Microsoft dot com, GameStop near you. Or Walmart, Amazon, Target, all the other places. I'm gonna go get mine. I was just about to ask you, Alex. Is this is this what you're getting in September 22nd? Oh shit! Yeah, I'm getting okay. I'm getting the Series X for sure. Okay, yeah, I will as well. Um, uh, we were pretty predestined to get the Series X, but did you were you given any pause to to maybe contemplate the Series S with all this information? I yes, I was because uh, you know of course money two hundred dollars I mean, not nothing to sniff at. That's a lot of money. No, the two hundred bucks, yeah, it's it's a good bit. So I'm like looking at it, I'm like, ah, interesting. But I'm like the only thing that knocks me back because I was like I don't mind that it's not a full four K. I mean I I love four K, but it's still running really good and it's still running the one twenty uh -huh. or one sixty to one twenty. Yeah. Um. The only thing that really bothered me is I can't um, I can't fully commit to the all digital. I can't either. I, I, I love having physical copies on certain games because like with for example collector's editions. I like, was what? just about to bring this up. What is happening with collector's edition, do you think? Now I know some have digital codes inside them. But I they're, when you buy a collector's edition, it's happen. kind of assumed you'll get you'll get the game physically in it right yeah it, and collector's editions i feel like are always going to be with physical copies i don't feel like they'll ever do either you can have one of the other or just or like like or have both kind of like how movies do there's no way that mm. i don't think that would ever happen no i did float an idea to alex a few days ago that one i wonder if collector's editions will become like movies Maybe you pay a little bit more, but you get the physical and digital game with it. But it, it's just I don't think that will ever happen. I think you, I think they would make that optional before they make it both. Yeah. Um. I think they would. Some re, some of them would be willing to take a hit if if you can pick it, or vice versa. The game doesn't even come with it, which I know sounds blasphemous to some people, but maybe the game doesn't I, come with it. It's a little cheaper, and you just buy the game with it. I feel like if they had any ideas of doing that, they would have done so already. 
I mean, we're so we're, I mean, we haven't even gotten the systems yet. So I think the closer we get to like systems being normal that they don't have discs, the closer we may get to like collector's editions. But to be fair, though, we had the the C, we had the regular S model all digital, and that's been out for what two years I, maybe now. So I agree with you, but like how many like that wasn't really a popular item. I feel like the Series S is coming out to way better approval and thing because I mean, if at the end of the day the all digital was fifty dollars yeah. less i believe i think so like at, at at that point why would you even buy that <laughs> like really like why would you buy that if you just spend 50 bucks more you get it with a disc mm -hmm. so so I, I i think this makes way more sense um to to eventually get to a point where either you choose digital or physical or you you just don't get the game at all which i remember wolfenstein i think two got made fun of it because their collector edition didn't come with the game <laughs> Dude, but but now that we dude. might have a world where like you you want that, which is very interesting. Mm, nope. <laughs> I I don't think I would want it either. Um, but it is going to be interesting to if the Series S is popular, then people would want collector's editions in a specific way. I wish there was an option. It was just like an option. Like Me too. if you go to your that would local be the easiest one. You get a collector's edition. It's like okay. Um, the the SKU is it, there is no game with the SKU, but if you SKU, there'll be a promo. So like if you buy the the collect the collector's edition, right? Uh, you'll scan either the physical copy or digital code, and it will e even it out. Right. But I don't know. All right. I let's let's stay in the track of uh, Microsoft. Go to a very confusing and upsetting story. So mm. Apple gives Stadia and XCloud the green light to run on iOS. This came, uh, all, this most of this information came from End Gadget uh, by Chris Holt. So Apple changed their in-app store guidelines to basically let third-party streaming services on the App Store. There is a huge catch, though. You will have to download each game individually from the App Store. You will have to download each game from the App Store. And you may be asking yourself, what the fuck is the point of the, getting the service then? I have no idea. So this is a direct quote. Quote, games offered in a streaming game service must be downloaded directly from the App Store. Must be designed to avoid duplicate payment by a subscriber. And should not disadvantage non-subscriber customers, end quote. And these are the updated rules of their guidelines. It, it, it okay. It, this bothers me because they're making this. Just... They're making this. <laughs> Apple is doing this to be like, oh, we're making sure that we care about our people and nothing's gonna happen, motherfucker. Go fuck yourself. You just don't want. <laughs> you just don't want shit on your store. You want to get money for it. I am okay? so flabbergasted. This is almost proof. Like it's almost like because they're having this huge legal fight with Epic right now. Mm -hmm. By the way, I finally figured out why Epic is doing this. Oh, did you see that there was a counter, uh, a counter suit? Uh, no, I did not. Yeah, um, you... Apple, Apple did, is doing a counter suit towards Epic. <laughs> to what? For what? Hold on, I gotta. Uh, yeah, Apple let me see if I can find it. Counter suit. I'm, I'm looking it up right now. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, I uh, I was listening to um kind of funny. I was listening to their daily news also, and one of their uh, and I think one of them said that, uh, yeah, Apple is actually counter suing. Apple. <laughs> I just read their reasoning. All right. This is a uh, reported by C uh, CNN and spotted by VG 24 seven. The tech giant filed the counter suit last night and accused the game developer of quote, self-help and subterfuge end quote, <laughs> and called Epic's methods of bypassing the Apple store by allowing players to spend money on their in-game store within Fortnite as quote, commission theft end quote and even going as far as describing the implementation as a quote trojan horse end quote <laughs> apple apple are said to be seeking monetary damages and a ruling from the judge that epic's actions did indeed constitute a breach of contract epic themselves meanwhile are currently refusing to comment on the matter instead referring cnn to its earlier statements in which it referred to apple's policy as giving them quote a monopoly over in-app payment on ios end quote Alex, do you want to low down of why this is all happening? Mm. You remember a few months ago the Epic Game Store was announced on the PC? Uh-huh. And there was a lot of backlash because people like Steam, they didn't want uh, the Epic Game Store to come in and make exclusives a thing. And, and it was kind yeah. of a big deal and eventually went away because at the end of the day, 
people doesn't really care. This is just the second yeah. thing you click on. The reasoning Epic is apparently actually suing uh, Apple has almost nothing to do with the Fortnite thing. Uh, so essentially, you can boil it down to the Fortnite thing is a literal ball around the reasoning why they're actually suing them. So they've looked akin to uh, the Fortnite thing as, you know, you're not giving us payments and you won't allow us to do a second payment on your app store, which controls most revenue. And that is uh, uh, adversely affecting our customer base. <clears throat> in their statement to uh, the court in the court ruling, there is a page that literally says they have monopolized the uh, phone app app store to a point where Epic cannot release a counter store on the iPhone. So the entire reasoning it seems like this is happening mm -hmm. is that the Epic Games wants to make a app store on the iPhone. And they want to make an app store on Google as well. Jesus. So their whole reasoning all this is happening is to prove that there is a monopoly on app stores that they have somehow like made this huge monopoly and that you have no choice on the app store and that the mm. app store has become such a goliath in revenue that it has to be shared in some way because they are overclassed in the literal uh, sense of the term in the actual app store iphone you have to phone review base. every single thing so apparently the whole reason is so they can make a second app store on the iphone which is incredible very <laughs> incredible to read that i was like all right that's okay we finally figured out why it was it has nothing to do with fortnite and i'm sure it has partial to do but it i mean they did the same thing on pc they want to do that on the app store they're thinking long game here i respect I it i still want to believe that it's everything has to do with fortnite everything everything yep that's about it that's your big update for the app store drama that is currently ensuing fortnite and the epic game developer I'm 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 still not. I'm like, I mean, it's annoying because I'm like I was so ready, and now I can't even use X Cloud on my phone. I mean, you get excited when you read that headline, and then you read you have to download each game individually. How the hell am I? These are giant games. Also, I'm streaming them. What is the point of that? That it's so upsetting. I don't. It's mm. um. It's like they were like, look, we're playing nice. Like we let you do it. What's the problem? You know, Alex. I think of, you know when you go for to make a hamburger. Mm -hmm. but you didn't check to make sure you had hamburger buns mm -hmm. but you have sandwich bread mm -hmm. so regular wonder bread loaf it's so now you have to do the thing where you get the wonder bread and put it around the hamburger and eat it that way now i will not disparage that because i was poor and i had to do that anyways i but, was gonna say i just did that earlier with some chicken sandwiches man i can't talk shit but i'm and i'm not disparaging that but it but it's not what you want it, it it's like a it, it's a substitute for what you actually want. You actually want the hamburger bun, but you're getting the substitute that you don't really want, but it would make do for now, I guess, until a better outcome is brought up. See, I don't like that on the hamburgers because because the, the hamburger is usually juicy and it gets all wet. Hmm. You know I mean, hey Amen. Whatever floats your boat. You know what floats my boat, Alex? Mm. Ninja Gaiden. Over on Gematsu. Sour Mono. Let's just so in on a, on a little thing here. Hong Kong distributor lists Ninja Gaiden Trilogy for PS4 and Switch. For PS4 and Switch. Ninja yeah, Gaiden yeah, Sigma, yeah. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja yeah, Gaiden yeah. 3 Razor Edge. I'm upset. Why? So, apparently, they leaked this. Uh, this is, what's us see. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Hong Kong distributed Game Source Entertainment. It has listed Ninja Gaiden Trilogy for PlayStation 4 and Switch. While both listings have since been removed, a cash version of the Switch listing archived um, uh, in this actual article is still available, which includes a link to the PlayStation 4 listing under, quote, new product section of the sidebar. According to the description, the game includes Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, a $40 price point in March 2021 release date are also mentioned. What is, what is this? Why? I, doesn't Koei Tecmo own the license for ninja gaiden why do they hate xbox so oh, all of a sudden it's crazy because i mean the 
Ninja Gaiden, and like it they, started number, on, on Xbox. <laughs> yeah, number two was only on Xbox. I I what why why is this happening? Hopefully it's hopefully it's not true. Hopefully the game exists, but hopefully the actual like the thing it's, is. It's just annoying because it's not just PlayStation, not just Xbox, not PlayStation and Xbox. But PlayStation and Switch. Yeah, Switch is Switch the big. Even, is Switch <sighs> gonna be even gonna be able to like render the, all these? <laughs> I think it will be able to render it now. How clearly of a render is a whole different question. But yeah, it looks like Koei Tecmo should still own this license. Looks like it. Tried to research real quick, but it looks like Koei Tecmo still owns this license. I don't know what happened with them. I know they're Japan based. I know Microsoft doesn't do particularly well in Japan, but has the relationship soured that much that they're not going to port it onto the Xbox? It seems very strange. Mm -hmm. Very strange. I don't know why they all of a sudden hate us. Um, Koei Tecmo, right in. Why do you hate us so much? Why can't uh, I like. Okay. <laughs> a couple of date updates for you can kenna bridge of spirits has been delayed to q1 2021 just in case you've forgotten this is the very beautiful playstation game that was showed off during the ps5 reveal event it was the one where the lady had the stick with the little crystal on top and it had the little cute creatures running about and jumping on people very adorable mm -hmm. game coming out uh, q2021 now i believe it was originally going to be a launch ps5 game but they did not make it mm. Alex, mm -hmm. we had a very good talk today. All about the Xboxes, Series S and Series X, respectively. What are your final thoughts? And then we'll move on to a very special topic. I'm. So, I hope, I hope that this whole X Cloud thing gets figured out, and um, like I, like it's it's something so simple, but it, like somebody says either the wrong thing or they think they're like oh well, they try to do something and it just completely screws it up yeah and it causes this whole big ordeal Has... like it's, so, it's so simple i mean it was working before do you think there's any missteps in microsoft's approach to this xbox clearly they did not want this to leak i think there could have been a controlled leak that happened i wouldn't say that would be completely insane to say i don't think it did happen though i don't think they planned to announce it on twitter I would hope there would be a video, but maybe they did plan and play it on Twitter. I don't know. They've been very strange about these things. But um, do you think there have been any missteps so far? Anything that you'd wish hadn't happened with these, mm -hmm. the Xbox currently? Have they messed something up specifically that you are not happy about? Mm. I, I'm going to say the obvious have Halo Infinite, of course. Oh, um, yeah. That's not very, yeah, that's not very surprising. No, I mean, well, I've always said before, if you have to delay a game, then take your time because, I mean, obviously you, you didn't think it was ready for it and I don't want you to, I don't want, I don't want them to pull out a game that what they didn't, they didn't think was ready and then bomb. At one point, though, do we get critical? I am 100% with you on that, Alex. You need time, take it. But at one point, does it become, okay, what, release the game. Once, once it becomes um to where you del you keep del you keep delaying the game what there was uh, which game was it they just keep uh, final uh, fantasy a lot. 15 was it? yeah final fantasy 15 last guardian were a couple of those games yeah like those just kept getting delayed i'm like oh my god all right or just just release it already like those then i'm like okay that was, you're taking too long i i i think i'm sour on halo infinite more than you are um Learning the small ins and outs of the the developer studio, it is one of those things where I'm like, all right, you had this long to make a, a game. You had from Halo 5 to now to workshop, to figure out a dev cycle, to schedule things. You yeah. probably had, honestly, one job, make it on release date, and you didn't. And it's just very disappointing. I think it's not affecting me as much, too, because I'm, I'm not feeling the the like like i of course i want to play it but yeah. i don't feel like like i want to play it right now i have enough that yeah. it's going to keep my time abide I agree. until it'll be ready i agree i agree i never want to sound like i'm upset i don't think like that's right the right, correct it'll be right there right around the corner and then we're gonna forget i'm like oh snap that is coming out now 
yeah i just don't want people to think like they have to be happy something's delayed i get frustrated yeah. sometimes no, for sure no, yeah, I, like, I mean yeah it's frustrating you're like it's disappointing you're like Nam. i mean i wish it, it but i mean you know shit happens yeah it's true that's true. i think i do think i'm being a little too harsh i don't know the ins and outs of how this game was made Shame on you. but it <laughs> but it, it is like there's a lot of people working there and you still rely on contracting yeah. and you messed it up this bad. It just gets very upsetting. I mean, I don't know what they're doing over there, man. They, there's all types of shit going on over there. There's I this, think the, that would that, that would be the big thing. The, the whole art, the, the story guy coming in. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 I'm blanking on his story. name, but he was very yeah. good. He, he sticked More around with Microsoft. He, he was the original person who made the original destiny one story. But mm. Activision's board of directors nixed his story, so he left. Went back to Microsoft to work on something. I don't remember what, but then they asked him to go to 343 to fix the mess that whatever they did happened. I'm wondering um, if he's walking in that, or he's like, all right, let me see what you got. He starts walking around each booth, and he's like, oof. That's okay. what I'm picturing. I'm picturing him like going to each each head department head and being like, all right, what's going on? Shows what's going on. He's like, oh, no. What did you do? And, and, and just going to each department head, like, you need to do this, 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 and that. And, you know, obviously this dude isn't a wizard. But yeah, that's what I pay, That's what I envision. Yeah. Hey, there's some people that, hey, they're so, they're good at their jobs. Yeah. I mean. I would akin that to, like, a Cory Barlog. Someone that's no. just some sort of yeah. visionary that somehow is pulling all of these threads very eloquently. Dude, um, it, watching the, 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 the and of course he had help he had he had his uh, second hand which is now gone from the studio i believe it was the vice head i don't remember her specific title but she was incredible in the development process yeah Yeah, when they showed uh, the uh the yeah the youtube documentary the thing uh what is it the Um, rising of rising raising of kratos or something like that yeah Yeah, dude that was awesome very good just seeing all the stuff that they were going through very good alex we're going back to a very well loved and missed topic. Shit I've seen on Twitter. Um, if you don't, if you're new to this, I am on Twitter way too much. I have a problem, and I will solve it only when marijuana becomes legal in Georgia. Now, moving on to Twitter, Alex, I want you to click on this link. What Describe the- to what you're seeing to the audience currently. So think of it as a robotic scorpion but at the end of its stinger there's three monitors the body the inside body is a chair <laughs> and all you see is a big ass keyboard pop out and it's like it's like trans it's like it was like laid out and then it transforms into like to where it's like a pretty much a pc setup this is incredible <laughs> like what the fuck i'm going to it i'm gonna get like ten thousand no ten thousand dollars it seems a lot wouldn't it uh i mean that's a lot of mechanical parts and it would have to include the monitors and like the others uh, i mean i you're i don't think you're that far off <laughs> uh, to be completely honest with you, alex i'm going to attempt to show the audience at home on youtube mm-hmm. what this is very quickly oh wait no i don't want that hold on sorry guys um but yeah that's essentially what it is alex what do you think of this <laughs> dude it's ugh, it's nuts i love it i love it i i i it's very weird looking it, it's kind of unsettling because it, it moves in a very unsettling way i don't understand like it, like dude it's super cool but like i don't understand the points of these chairs like i went i can't i don't think it's meant to, to be the, actually through, practical uh, through uh, the twitter thing and there's a comment and, said, and some guy was like i'd rather have the tank and there's a prime gaming tank chair, and it's literally a tank with mini guns on the side. <laughs> what? Everything. So, and if you're watching, I'm so sorry. This is like super messed up. Give me one sec to actually fix this, guys. But yeah, continue, Alex, for me. Yeah, it's just like it, it looks like it has like wheels and everything. I'm like, uh, okay, like, <clears throat> like I mean, I, 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 what happened to the, just having a good chair? Right. Yeah. No. For sure. Like, it's a damn arsenal or whatever. Like, now I'm going to go to war. <laughs> I love this because of how insane it looks. You should be seeing it now, uh, YouTube audience. This is pretty incredible. I love it. Uh, I, I I would never use this, but this is hilarious. This is like this is like something you see in an anime and you don't actually think would exist. 
I like, keep looking at it, and, I, and it's like it's like cringy. I'm like, oh, it is I very cr- it is very cringy. Yeah, in a very specific way. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention that that exists. It's kind of almost nightmare fuel, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Like it is very unsettling. I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to bring that to your attention. That it was very disturbing, and it looked like a scorpion made love to a transformer. Yeah, it's definitely weird. <laughs> On that note, Alex, we'd like to mellow out near the end of the episode. We like to bring up what's been queued up. Something we chill out. This could be, of course, a TV show, a movie, a video game, or just an event that you're looking forward to at the end of the What's queued up? And remember, you can, of course, reach out to us. What do you have queued up for the weekend? Or if you have any specific ideas or questions about the Series S or Series X, what do you think? Will it be better than the PS5? Are you more excited for either one? Remember, tweet at us your thoughts. Leave a comment below if you want to at dvm9000 at creepy slip skater or just at easy achievers on instagram now alex mm. what do you have queued up avengers mm. i need to get back I on the avengers played. i have been, been a little bit of that we've been on we've been on the destiny i have been oh. obsessed with destiny so much yeah, we've been doing all the raids, dude. Yep. I have just been so obsessed with it, and I'm having so much fun. Just grinding, 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 dude. doing the little activities to get the number higher and stuff like that. So much doing fun. Doing these raids and then taking care of the baby in the mornings. Yep. Oh, my God. I'm so tired, but, like, <laughs> I feel like I, feel, I, had, I think I have, like, three hours of sleep in me right now, and I'm told myself I'm going to bed after this. But guess what I really want to do? You want to go play Destiny. You're gonna want to play Destiny. I understand. I understand. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's that's what I have planned. Destiny Two Avengers. Um, I have been flirting with the mm-hmm. idea of doing an MCU rewatch. Don't know if I actually yeah. will. I yeah, don't. I'm still finding new shows to watch because I feel I got I got caught up with Vikings. I finished watching that. Yeah, uh, Alex always finishes multiple shows all the time. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, Alex, Alex can we have ready. can we have a ba- uh, hashtag baby update? Baby's good, sleeping. Um, there was something she did that was it was hilarious. Uh, actually, she's starting to giggle a little bit. Uh, my wife good. got her to giggle a little bit. That's awesome. Um, but no, it, it, lately I just it's just been me and her because my wife works, so I'm just stay at home dad. It's just mm. chill. Ha- thank you for the hashtag baby update. We always look forward to that every week. Of course, glad to hear she's well. Mm-hmm. I don't have much planned. I am gonna tackle some more Destiny things. Destiny, that's all you got. Avengers, probably. I want to get close to a point where me and Alex can play together. Um, I'm already at the point. I'm waiting on you, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm been very much lagging on this uh, because I've just... I literally did it like an hour ago. But that's why I texted you, be like, "Hey, I'm ready." <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow. That'll be my thing. I actually took tomorrow yeah. off. Um, PTO restarts next week, so I was like, ah, I don't get paid for it, so I might as well use it. So I used my last little bit, and I'll just regain it back next week anyway. So oh, that's what I did. Uh, one more thing that it's uh, I um I suggest you trying Uh-oh. out or everybody else. Um, beats uh the Beat Saber. Lincoln oh Park. yes, yes, I remember you brought this up. Oh, so good. Uh, so it was uh, very good. You you actually tried it out. Yes, I, I I set up my VR because I, I saw there was some VR stuff on sale. Okay. And um, I got the uh, the, so you're gonna laugh, but oh. I really love Titanic, and there was a VR game on there for mm. it. It's like an experience. It's dude, it, it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Now, when you say experience, are you going to the wreck? Are you going to yeah. like as if it was real? It, okay, so the one downfall about this game, and I'm like so upset about it. I would. I, there's no there's no trophies okay um, so it's for more of an experience thing yeah. so like when you start the game you can literally there's literally so uh, this co-worker you you're with you're pretty much a one of those people who dive and go to the wreck so you're in that little sub and you're using your controller to actually nav move the sub around the wreck and in the wreck and then it, it'll the person will tell you okay take out your little predator drone thing and you can go in the ship to go find something. So you press like a certain button, and you'll be like a tiny little, the little robot with the hands, and you'll go in the ship. Like I had, I went into the into C deck where the grand staircase would have been, and it, dude, I was going through the corridors and stuff. It's so cool. Okay, I was yeah. I was very much picturing a more of an experience. 
I mean, this sounds like pretty gamey. To uh, no, right? it is. And like, you actually get to do everything. Like, I'm in. I'm wearing the helmet, and I'm in the little cockpit thing. So like, I'm like moving around. And I gotta like use the joysticks to move in the. Fl- I can move the flashlight up and down. I can move back up and down, side to side. That I can hit. I could change into the predator thing, pick up things um, that it asks me to. And then like after you get back, there's like a little area where it's like if you, like for example, I I picked up a certain item and it told me okay bring it back. And then uh, when you bring it back, it's like if it's paper or something, they're like okay you not you gotta dump it in a certain type of bath so it, you know to get all the chemicals off or whatever or bacteria so you'll dump you gotta grab actually grab it dump it and then and if it's paper you gotta go and put it in the little freezer to freeze dry it so it doesn't like deteriorate it's like it, I just it was very interactive so huh. like I was very it felt like I was part of the like I was I was one of those divers and um there's also another section in that. It's called the experience. You actually have two things in the experience. You have the sh- the the wreck tour, which I haven't done yet. But then there's also the ship, uh, the ship uh, like as it's sinking. So you're literally on the day of its sinking, and you're when and you're experiencing as it as if you're one of the passengers on one of the lifeboats, and you're watching the, the actual Titanic sink. And as everybody's, you know, talking and mayhem and stuff like that, it was, I honestly, dude, that was a little, um, touching. Like I was like, I was in there and I, and I kind of felt it. I'm like, Ooh, dude, I feel, I feel bad. Well, Jesus. Like, it was really, it was, it was really interactive. Like I, like I, I like with the, that experience, I, I couldn't really do anything. It was just me watching. Yeah. But me watching like certain families, like they had to like separate and then you getting on the, on the lifeboat. And then you know certain lifeboats wouldn't go back for other people. And then you're and if you keep watching the ship, it's slowly you can see it slowly sinking. And then it, and then when they point it out, you'll see it start tip tipping over and going and raising in the air like it normally does. It, it dude, it was nuts. Well, like, damn. It, it, yeah, it felt like I was there, and I and I I, I was like, ooh, Jesus. It was fun. It's there. I recommend. It. <laughs> If you want to be traumatized for the rest of your life, check out Titanic The Experience on PSVR today. Look, out of all my life, you know me, I love Titanic. So, like, this was, like, one of my things. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining a very special episode of the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Uh, Go check out Titanic if you want to be traumatized for the rest of your life by immersing mass death. Yeah, if you like us, you can, of course, go over to patreon.com slash ggchivers. Give us a dollar. Anything you can, of course, helps us get the specific tiers, a monthly episode every month, of course. Thank you again for listening. Give us the time. We respect it, of course. We love you. Remember, Twitter, at evm 1000 at Crazy Subscriber. You can give us any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, or ideas. If you want some direct access to the actual show, please utilize the Patreon DM service. Thank you again for joining us. Slide into the DMs. Slide into our DMs. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. We love you. See you next week. Remember, remember, hey, remember, go Chief. Go Chief.